Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you guys are coming from. My brother in Christ, our rule, is going to completely dismantle and humiliate Islam. And this young lady is going to be left speechless as she doesn't know what to say whenever he provides complete evidence that Islam, we don't even know if there's any evidence for Islam historically, and that it is just a big Harry Potter book. But let's go ahead and watch the video because this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> when he began his public ministry, he was based in Mecca. This is the rough idea. Mecca was his focus. Mecca was his focus because of various reasons. But the number one of which was that it was the prominent city. That's where the idolaters were. He was were. from there. He was born there. It's That's not the just because he was born there. He was that from is the where tribe. He was within the people. That is where... His family were like the biggest, like they were the head type. Yes. God but, did that on purpose because... Yeah. So, such a he, wonderful city, Mecca. Yes, but here's my problem. Here's my problem. What? Archaeology tells us yeah. that there is no reason to believe yeah. that Mecca even existed at that time. <laughs> Oh, oh, please, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, don't you, listen to them. Come. Please come here. You come. You. <laughs> come. Ah, oh, oh, that's all. All. <laughs> you, you young man. I know. I know. There we go. All right. Yeah. While all the Muslims are running away from running. facing up to the challenge I that I like to press it. Ah, good. Yeah. Well done. Please come here. That's good. What's your name? Aisha. Aisha. I am Arul. That's my wife, family. Yeah. Very good to be here. Now, I sincerely believe yeah. that Islam yeah. is a fairy tale, okay. a perfect example of how a myth could be made. And wait, before that, you're a Christian Jew? I am a Christian. Okay. He is confused. He, he is confused, didn't take his pills. But That's true, you can't say that, but go on. Sure. I'll give you a simple example. Okay. You know Muhammad. Yes, of course. You have a history for Muhammad. What do you call a history for him? Muhammad was living in, the, in Mecca, had conflicts with idolaters in Mecca, had to run away from Mecca at a certain stage, uh, what you would call Hijra, was in Medina, had a constitution, constitution of Medina, where he brought together a few tribes. Muhammad was the arbitrator. You know about, you know about the rough history? Yeah, and where is the problem? The problem is, every step of the way, when we refer back to solid evidence, historical evidence from back then, we figure out every step of the way we have a problem. Where is the historical evidence? What's I'll, the problem? You have, have you, where is my file sitting? I Can you get my file? What's, I'll give you a simple example. What's the problem example. with a human and a tribe I'll, going from I'll place give you, to place I'll give you a, no man's. I'll give you a simple example. Okay. In the Arabian Peninsula, yes. during the time of Mecca, what was the prominent, most prominent city? What do you mean prominent city? In which way? Like economy, people, society? In, in, in Muhammad's way, let's say. In, in, in any way. Your, your question is too general. You're looking for an answer. Let's say in religious way. So religion was like a very general thing before Islam. But dominantly in Saudi Arabia, it was... Oh yes, I don't think it's like they used to basically pray for um, we call it in Arabic like asnaf, and they used to basically look how she downplays this. She's looking around as all these cowardly Muslim men don't want to help her out because they know they know how false Islam is, guys. <laughs> But basically, the predominant religion was not just general religion. Like, bro, what even is that? That doesn't even make any sense. The religion before pre-Islamic Arabia, they worship pagan deities, literally. This is a historical fact. Everyone can go ahead and search it up. What religion did they worship before Islam? They worship paganism because that's where Muslims come from, paganism. Basically, you go to the Islam and they would ask. But where, uh, like what the, is the, the prominent the city? Even. Prominent what city in Islam. Sorry. City? Well, what was the most? You wanted to say Mecca. What well, exactly. You, you want me to say Mecca? Yeah. 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 How do you? Why do you? What's the point? You're, you Mecca see? was a place okay. where Islam claims people visited Hajj since the time of Abraham. 
Okay, but how is that related to your question? I'm, I'm, I'm coming there. Okay. So Mecca, in all the ways it's described, idolaters, the headquarters that the idolaters had was in Mecca. So in all different ways, Mecca was the prominent city during the time of supposed Muhammad's living. Yeah, agree with me? Muhammad's what? During when Muhammad was supposed to have lived. You know, Muhammad 570, he was born. The claim is Muhammad was born in 570 AD. Um, he died eventually in 632 AD. This is the claim. Yeah, okay. 610 AD, he began his public ministry and his public ministry initially 40. When he began his public ministry, he was based in Mecca. This is the rough idea. Mecca was his focus. Mecca was his focus because of various reasons. But the number one of which was that it was the prominent city. That's where the idolaters were. He was were. from there. He was born there. That's it's not just because he was born there. He was that from is the where tribe. He was within the people. That is where... His family were like the biggest, like they were the head tribe. Yes. God but, did that on purpose because... Yeah. So, such a he, wonderful city, Mecca. Yes, but here's my problem. Here's my problem. What? Archaeology tells us yeah. that there is no reason to believe yeah. that Mecca even existed at that time. Allah, well, Allah, How you know? What's that? How you know? Well, okay. Let me prove. Good. Uh, very good. Let me give you proof. Okay. Today, researchers who are researching. Listen, you can't talk. Give me proof. Give me statistics, and then we can talk. I'm giving you statistics. Okay. Um, researchers who are studying epigraphic, not epigraphic, not in epigraphic inscriptions, okay. yeah, writings on rocks, okay. are figuring out that even before uh, Islam is supposed to have come about, there are plenty of rock inscriptions in the entire Arab land. Nice. Various different languages, yes. Northern Arabian tribes, uh, Southern Northern Arabian languages, Southern Arabian languages, and so on. Different uh, languages from one can I can I please finish sir please just, just please listen no 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 please please Different listen from one language. please please listen please listen yeah. Yeah. and then you can correct and then I can I can face the please 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 listen northern Arabian languages southern Arabian languages most of these languages uh, some of the languages have been uh, now decoded and so on in one particular language called uh, in one particular kind of inscription writing called Safiatic inscription Safiatic there are about 70,000 inscriptions, okay, nice. 70,000. But can you guess how many inscriptions are there in Mecca? Any guess? What's your point? Yeah, what's if you listen, point? please. I'm, I'm speaking to her. Please, yeah. if you listen, please. I mean, if you, can you guess? Across, across, across where Arabs were supposed to have lived, thousands and thousands of inscriptions recording Arabs' existence in various parts of not alone Arabian Peninsula, but also going as far uh, north as Syria and so Who on. conducted those research? How many guesses can I mean, we? Well, you let's come to that later. But she's 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 an understand. She excuse me, excuse me. She is understanding the point. If you haven't understood, she you may get you may want to get her help later. Now now Safiatic Safiatic inscription. Okay. Now, he was a bit confused. He thought we were talking about sweetness or something earlier. <laughs> Wasn't that one of you? Now, when did the Safiatic one inscription. Go, Listen, go, on. go on, 70,000. My dear friend, 70,000. Look how these Muslim men guys are literally just trying to barge in like mid conversation. All of them were acting cowardly. But now the fact that he is refuting this young lady and you know, this is how the devil works, and this is how these Muslims work. Once they see someone is coming to Jesus Christ, they love to scatter to the seed because they don't want to see you come to Jesus Christ. They don't want to see you come to truth. So that's literally what you guys see them doing right here, right now. It's really sad. There was an inscription across Arabs, you know, places where Arabs are supposed to have lived. 70,000 in Mecca and around Mecca very very few none of them religious from before the time of islam none of them very few indicating to the researchers who are into epigraphy clearly that people hadn't uh, uh, hadn't um, lived in in and around what is mecca and what is called taif in that area people are uh, supposed to have not have uh, lived and you know done did their business simply did not happen this you is a huge problem indicate, yes. yeah 
indicate. So yeah. it's basically based on analysis of those people. Yeah, analysis you of can't history. Just deny a whole existing like civilization just because it doesn't matter. That's a very. There was a whole civilization that was different than the rest of the world. Very, very yes. good point. Please remind me your name again. Aisha. Aisha. Yeah. Aisha, you're making a very important point. Yeah. yeah. I am proposing a particular point, okay, which, is? which is while there is thousands and thousands of inscriptions elsewhere, very few in Mecca, none religious, that is the evidence I am presenting to make the point that Mecca seems not to have been an inhabited area at that time. You are making a very good point there where you are saying, well, are we going to discount the rest of information we have? But not the rest of the information we have. People did live in Mecca and it's a known fact, especially for us as like tribal humans. Good. So, Aisha, like how so I... can't just deny an entire tribe. I know, I know. Song. It's very, very good. A lot I of have people and I have tribes didn't write stuff down. Does that mean they didn't exist? Good, Aisha. I have presented some evidence. I have presented... He's like that. A bit rude. And he thinks he, he's the only one who can think. Uh, School holidays. Go on. I am presenting some evidence to suggest Mecca was uninhabited. If you are going to suggest that Mecca, like how you were saying, we have known through our tribes and so on, what is the evidence we have? The Quran is not enough evidence for From the Bible. I'll give you. No, no. No, 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 no. Bring your parents. Bring your parents. Okay, you tell him. Bring your parents. Yeah, good. That's Isaiah good. chapter 42 verse 11. Ask him to what open. What is it? Like it talks saying. about the about the hut pilgrimage and all that. Also, no, Isaiah. He's he is a bit deluded. No he is a bit Mecca. deluded. <laughs> no, no, Mecca, I'm no the Jew. Buses, Mecca, no no Jew. Mecca, no Mecca, Christian. He doesn't want to listen to me. That's why I'm talking to you. The owners of food Mecca is on him. Aisha. Yeah. The deal is very simple. See, he doesn't, he doesn't he want to talk to you. He, he, he is a bit confused. No, you are. Uh, no person. Know me. Listen, we have to listen to you each know other in order to yeah. have a debate. No. Do you have Christian friends? Yeah, I do. Do you have Jewish friends? Yes, I do. Have you ever spoken to them where they have given, a new, given you an indication that the Bible has information about Islamic Hajj? Yes. Any indication? Yes. Listen, have they, have the Bible has like 10 versions. So which one are we talking the, about? Uh, no, the Bible has... Now you're reverting. Aisha, 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 now you're... have Aisha, 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 now, now, Aisha, now you are reverting to Sister. some... Aisha, I, but you I, I like you to, I like you to engage Sister. with this point very clearly. Can I give you one verse? No, no. The, listen, you believe, have, listen to me, please. Yeah, yeah sure. Please, politely, one time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Do you believe Prophet Muhammad was an illiterate? Yes, he was an illiterate. Oh, yes, he was, but he never used to write all that. Yes. Well, whether Muhammad existed or not, I don't know. But he is an illiterate, that I do know. He needs to finish his schooling and then come here. Listen. Chapter 20. Finish. Excuse me. Says, Don't come near me. Okay. The illiterate will be given a book. There we go. And he will be asked Aisha. to read and he, he will say. He what he is going to do to you? Read. Who's that illiterate in the Bible? What he is I going to do? I am in your team. Why are you telling me? No, that? he doesn't want to speak to I me. I told so you ask already. Him. Ask him. Ask him. Team, team Aisha, ask I told him. you already. He is a bit confused. Uh, I'm confused. And that's, him. that's demonstration. At what age your God Demonstration. At what age? That's rude. You can't no, say that. No, 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 no. At what age did Jesus God ask him? Aisha, let me. Uh, so ask him at what age did Jesus become no, God? He claimed divinity. He, he at the age of seven, nine, ten, he doesn't. Is know. this your first ask time him. at the park? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm trying to speak to you because I Why haven't spoken to you. Speaking to me. This, guy, this guy, this guy is a bit confused. I I'm know confused. that. I know, I know oh, that. He's confused. Because he comes here he's God, week he's in, God, week out. He's God is plenty Lord of evidence. The Father, the Son, plenty, and the Holy plenty of evidence. But the God of Jesus is only one Father. Plenty of evidence. So why do they have different the God of Jesus is our God. No, what do you mean? no his God is Jesus. And like God, I said, he's a bit confused. The Son, and the Holy Spirit. Like, like I said. Listen, what's your main argument? Like your main argument. What's your My main argument is Islam. Islam. I'm not. I'm not. If you listen to him, you might think that something is a bit confused, and I can understand like because when he speaks, to? that happens what normally. Is, is, please, look, have a look. No, listen. We have. What are you a drug dealer or alcoholic person? You see, I what told you he's a bit confused. confused. Why There's can you more and more evidence. Why can you not talk? More about and more evidence. I'm teaching you book. What's your main have, argument here? Like, okay. what are you trying to prove? To you, Aisha, Islam. When you go back, you know, we need evidence for what we believe. Okay. Very important. I am a Christian. Okay. In regards to believing in Jesus Christ to be God, I can provide evidence. And I'd like to provide evidence to you. 
I'd like to provide evidence to you so you would become a Christian. I'd like to prove. I will prove him wrong. He has to answer my questions. So please don't listen to him. You can ignore. What are we? What are we? Exactly. Ask him to stay quiet. He's jumping like a rabbit. He talks about Jesus. He talks about Islam. Jumping like a rabbit. He talks about Makkah. What topic? So what topic? What topic do you want? Sorry, I'm speaking to him. What topic? Sorry. Mr. You sit behind. We are talking. Why are you involving yourself? He's a far better than Prophet Muhammad. This guy. Aisha. Let me tell you this guy, his daughter became a Muslim, she was fasting, he's so annoyed he by that. His name is Allah, I'm not lying. Okay, good for him. Okay, good for him. Okay, good for him. So this guy, left his sister, ignore him. Ignore him, otherwise we'll be wasting time. Okay, my point, the belief in Jesus Christ is verifiable. Notice how this uh, Islamic thug goes in the background. He tries like literally dividing the seed because he's making a very valid point. I mean, where's the evidence that there even was a civilization before him? You know, so there's two really good arguments you can make against Islamic viewpoint on things is one proof that there even was a society that existed pre Muhammad there. And B, even if there was a society, any evidence that shows that there is even a society shows that the society is actually pagan. So, I mean, it's just, it doesn't, it's not a good look for Muslims, no matter how you want to spin it. It's not a good look for Muslims when you look at pre-Islamic Arabia, guys. Based on evidence that we could present even today, Islam, on the other hand, is a whole Harry Potter storyline that is built by people like him, people like him who go around brainwashing without giving solid historical evidence historical this is my Bible. ultimate point Look, in other words Bible or historical ask him which no. one is first historical or please don't please don't please don't which one do you please want don't historical or bible please don't no. historical you made the lady bible. run away yes. please don't touch historical me historical or bible aisha choose one this is what this is what this historical kind of historical or bible later on through he god's grace god, jesus claimed divinity to be god at the age of 30. Hey, who Why has his pills <laughs> Why they know why who they has who has his school Sati. leaving Jesus certificate? <laughs> Please bring them both. Jesus, who are you? We need I'm help. 12 years old. Who are you? I'm I not told you, he says he's 12 years old. He is I told confused you, yeah. like what Prophet Muhammad. Well, Jesus became God. clearly, he is now, confused like Prophet any Muslim, any Muslim who is, is watching any of these Muslim channels, to throw himself from that. Please, please take what movie. Please, please, please take white. This is a movie. The gentleman and says, please take white. Please take white. Now, like, please take white. Like his now, Prophet Muhammad, he is about to throw his... For all Muslims, for all Muslims, yeah. the challenge still remains. I would like to see if Islam is a Harry Potter Why story, is a, Harry Potter. a, Harry Potter. a myth, the guy if there or Jesus, if it's history, I would Christian. like to find out. Listening to him will not help uh, you Potter in dealing with that Harry question. Is there any Muslim who is able to intelligently engage in a conversation? You, sir. So it kind of just goes downward from there because these Muslim cowards run away and he just tries talking over him instead of actually refuting the points at hand. And unfortunately, guys, like whenever you guys look in history, those are the only two viewpoints you can come about pre-Islamic Arabia is that either A, there was no history, right? And it's all just made up to prove that Islam is some kind of credible religion or faith like the Abrahamic faith or B, the any scholars that do agree there is any evidence for pre-Islamic Arabia societies agree the fact that they were all pagan and that they didn't worship the monotheistic God. So it doesn't matter like how you want to spin it or look at it. History is not on your side, Islam. And so this is why this is why Islam falls apart and, and is shattered into pieces. Because unlike Islam, when you look at Judaism and Christianity, we have a monotheistic faith. We have a monotheistic faith that reaches back for thousands of years since the beginning of time. However, whenever you look at the Quran, the Quran is based off of pagan societies or non-existent societies that never existed, or they have a corrupted version of the Jewish and Christian societies that existed prior to Islam. So, I mean, it just, it completely falls apart, no matter how you want to spend the story of the narrative, guys. But this is why, without lies, Islam dies. Let me know what you guys think about it in the, in the, um, Comments below. Do you guys believe there was a society that even existed or do you guys believe that they were just pagan? What do you guys think about it? Please go ahead and subscribe, like, 
comment and share. And I hope you guys have a very blessed weekend. God bless.